Okay, so what I want to do is to create a Google form. So I'm going to do form.new and I'm going to collect attendance information. Okay, click up there. I want to go to the settings cog and make sure it automatically collects emails. And I like to do first name separate from last name and we're just going to do attendance, right? Present, absent, uh, late, something like this, right? And I'm going to make that required. Okay, so I'm going to make all of these required. Great. And then it's going to go into a spreadsheet. So I'm going to make a new spreadsheet. I clicked on the responses tab and then the spreadsheet icon. It's going to allow me to create this. It's going to go in here. And what I'm going to do is have students take attendance. Okay, so I've had some students fill out the attendance form. I have their names. They do it every day. So you can see that I have the 26th and the 27th. I have it for multiple days. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the add-ons menu and I'm going to choose get add-ons. And you're going to search for two tabs. That's T-O-T-A-B-S. And I personally coded this, Alice Keeler. So two tabs by Alice Keeler. And I want to install. All right, and then once it has installed, I can come up to the add-ons menu and find the two tabs and show the sidebar. So what two tabs will do is it will sort out the data. It sorts out the data so that I can see each student's name in their own tab or each attendance in their own tab. I'm going to choose a column that has something that repeats and I want to split it up and sort it into different tabs based on that one filter. And this does only work with a single filter. So I'm going to come over here and it says select a column. So I'm going to choose that I want to do sort it by last name. So I'm going to sort it by last name and submit. And so what we'll see down here at the bottom is it is creating a tab for each last name. And once it's done, I should be able to see as I click on like here's Kylie Craw. She had checked. Here's Sappington. She is checked in twice and is present. Evans, Shawl. Now, to be honest, I copy and pasted these so they actually all have the same values. But if I come back over here and I'm going to change Kaylee Craw to absent just so I have a little bit of difference. And here's Craw. You can see that it does reflect here. So this is a filter. You'll notice it has a filter formula where it's looking in column D, in column D and then it's looking for craw. So now here's the question, is what happens when the form is submitted? Well, it is going to update so long as it's the same names. So if the same students submit and the students already have a tab, then that information is gonna filter in there as they submit the Google form. But if a new student submits, so let's go ahead and fill this out for a new student. What happens if you, if you have two Okay, so I submitted and I put myself in there, Alice Keeler. This, there is no Alice Keeler tab in there. So what I'm gonna do is go to the main menu. Actually, let's assume that I just need to start over again, right? Go to add-ons, go to two tabs. I'm gonna show the sidebar. And I'm gonna select a column. I'm gonna do last name again. But actually, before I do that, I need to reset. So that's gonna eat all of those tabs at the bottom so that I could do it again by last name. And now it's going to sort those in there. So now the question was, okay, cool, this is working. I got a tab for each student who's signed in. And every time they fill out the Google form for their attendance, it gets added onto their filter onto that tab. Great, what if I modify the form? Let's find out. Okay, so we are gonna ask on the form here on the questions, is after last name, I'm gonna insert a question. So it's inserted in, and I'm gonna ask, what period are you in? 
and I just put one, two, three, four, five, six. And I like to say if there's at least if there's more than four choices, if there's more than four choices, switch it to drop down. Now I'm going to tell you what's going to happen right now. It doesn't insert it into the spreadsheet. It appends it on the spreadsheet. So let's go take a look. So over on the spreadsheet, it did not put the column in between last name and attendance. So let's give everybody a period. I'm just doing this randomly. Oops, that was one too many. I'm gonna delete that, okay? Now, when I come over here, you'll see that it is not showing their period. So that's where I'm gonna go back to the main menu. I want to reset. It's gonna take in all of those tabs. And I'm just gonna do it again. Oh, it's glitching a little bit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that. Just go back, show the sidebar, no problem. And I'm gonna do last name again. Submit. And so you'll see that it's now adding the period, it's adding that column. So when you add extra questions, those extra questions actually go to the end of the spreadsheet, they don't go in the order of the form. Okay, well what happens if I just move it? Right? Oops, I don't wanna move it over there, I wanna move it. Come on. Shouldn't be so hard. <laughs> What's going on? Just gonna squeeze this in, and I want it there. Okay, right? No, nope, I want it one more. Forget it. I'll fix this. <sighs> yep. Oops, I just deleted the period, didn't I? What happened? whatever here it is okay so now it's third it is where it is so I come over here and you'll notice that the period is now in column C but the column header says first name so the way that this works is you'll notice that when I click on these column headers they are the value they are not a formula they are not pulling it from the column header and um, yeah that's column D right this is when you look at this, it's taking it from E to E. Oops. And this one is just part of the filter. So what I need to do then is just go ahead and go back to the main menu. You know, if you mess it up, you insert columns, you add a question, just choose reset. So that's from the tools, the add-ons menu, the two tabs, show the sidebar, just reset it. And then I can select what period are you in. Oops. Submit. Okay, now instead of sorting by last name, I'm sorting it by what period they're in. So everyone who's in fourth period, I see their attendance. Everyone who's in third period, I see their attendance. Everyone who's in fifth period, I see their attendance. However it is that you want to sort it. And here's a fun fact. You can actually do it again. So I can actually take it like, well, but I want it by their last name also. No problem. Go ahead and submit for that. It's gonna make additional tabs. So you can see I have Lakes and Kaplan. Did it break? Mm. Mm. That's interesting. It should have allowed me to uh, do it again. Anyway, if I go to the main menu, I should be able to reset clear off of those filters and tabs, and again, sort it by whichever column I want to.